with another Ipsy unbagging, but this time I'm actually doing, doing it on time. This is the March Ipsy delivery. So if you want to see what I got in my March Ipsy bag, then just keep on watching. Madeline is here sitting with me also. I'll try to show you. Say hi. She's being a little bit shy today, but she wanted to be up on the chair next to me, so I'm keeping her calm by keeping her with me. Does anybody else like have these issues when they open their Ipsy bags that it just like does not open, it sticks to your fingers? Comment below if that happens to you. I feel like it happens to me every, every month. Anyway, so this month is Hello Spring. That's what the little card looks like. Beautiful, as always. And this is what my bag looks like. It's kind of a corally color. It kind of matches my nail color, actually. And then it looks like a bluish green kind of design. It looks kind of like it's coming off as white in the camera, but it's kind of like a bluish green. So anyways, let's see what's in here. I'm just going to pull these out. Careful. So the first thing I have is from Aphrodite. This is the olive oil eye cream for all skin types for anti-aging and hydrating. It says it firms and tones with argan and Inca inky oils, coenzyme Q10. I hope I said all of that right. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Here, let me... And it's a pretty good size, it looks like. Um, 0.34 fluid ounces. So that's good. Let's see what it smells like. It has one of those little uh -oh. things on it. Doesn't really... No. Okay, hold on. It doesn't really smell like anything. No, it doesn't? Okay. Um, there's a lot of good things. It says free of parabens. No. Silicones, propylene, glycerol, or glyc glycol, uh, mineral, mineral, paraffin oil, allergens, flavates, synthetic dyes, alcohol, ethanolamine, and GMO. <laughs> so it sounds pretty good. I'm excited. I'm all about eye creams. Yeah. I'm all about helping to hydrate my under eye. I feel like I have a lot of dryness under my eyes, even though I use a nighttime and daytime under eye moisturizer, so I have high hopes. Um, next is this Morocco lip lacquer from Model Co. Ooh, that's pretty. So that is what it looks like. A very pretty, like nude, pinky, kind of like a deeper, almost like a mauve pinky nude color. Oh, and it smells, what does that smell like? Yeah. It smells like strawberries. I'm not really one for gloss, so honestly, like I'm not sure how much I'll use this, but yeah. it's really pretty. I like the color, and yeah. um, it might work yeah. a little better. Um, I don't know. I just usually tend to go for like matte stuff or like a lipstick or a chapstick, not really gloss, so we'll see. If I don't really use it, I'll just like give it away to somebody. Um, this next thing is from Mana Kadar Beauty, and this is in, um, it looks like the, co the color Fantasy. Anyways, this is what it looks like. It's not really coming out true to color. Oh, well, kind of. True to color on camera. Um, let me do, ooh, has a good consistency. It feels a little buttery. Oh, it goes on really nice. That would actually be, like, a really pretty highlight shade, too, maybe. I don't know if you didn't do it quite so dark, but it's really pretty, so I'm excited to use that. That's gorgeous. And the last two are bigger. Um, this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, and this is in the shade Medium. Oh, it's so cute. Here's the box. Maddie's my little box holder. This is the cute little sample size. I've actually been wanting to try this because I have the Bye Bye Under Eye like in the little pot. Um, 
but I'm not sure how this will compare. Oh my goodness. Bless you. But can you, okay, so. Oh wow, it's very thick, it's very creamy. But it is pretty good at like covering because it doesn't look like there's much of anything left and it doesn't look like a bad color either, so that's good. I'm very excited to try that. Last thing is the Caviar Anti-Aging Miracle Multiplying Volume Mist um, from Alterna. This is 1.4 fluid ounces. The bottle is gorgeous and I love it. I hear a lot of good things. I know Casey, um, Casey Holmes talks about the Caviar Alterna. No. Let me. It kind of... No. It, it kind of smells like Fruit Loops. Like in a really good way. It's not like overpowering. It just smells a little bit like fruity. To me at least. I don't know. Okay. So it says the directions spray throughout clean towel dried hair prior to blow dry. Well, I already did blow dry up my hair and straighten it, but it feels good. Oops, sorry, did I get you too? <laughs> um, but it feels good. I don't know if it really, I mean, it probably won't make a difference because it's like a volume. It probably gives you a better, you know volume once you blow dry your hair because that's what it is but um yeah overall i'm very happy with the bag this month i am very excited to try out all the new products um let me know what you guys got in your ipsy bag this month i know um i just watched a couple recently and they got almost completely different things than i did so um, yeah, let me know what you got in yours, and if you currently use or have used any of these products, let me know in the comments down below if you like them or if you didn't, and why you did or did not like them. And um, let me know what you are excited to try from your bag this month. Um, other than that, that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like these types of videos with unboxings or subscription services. Thank you so much for watching again and see you in my next one. Bye! I'm bagging.